We're at the patio restaurant. Let's have lunch. This is a landmark in Vero Beach. Something is smelling good. It's making me hungry. Oh, the beautiful grill work that you see. This beautiful tree. If you're interested, part of the history of the tile and the grill work is printed on the front of the menu. We're actually eating on the patio at the new patio restaurant. Inside the new patio restaurant, it's beautiful. The stained glass, the floors from Spain, the light fixtures. There's so much to see inside. fixtures that we see here were brought by Andrew Meisner, the famous architect who designed many of the Palm Beach mansions. Some of the items on the menu include mushroom and spinach ravioli, Cuban sandwiches, Cobb salad, a veggie burger. However, what struck me was the salad wrap with a coleslaw. And Greg loved the idea of Greg. The brie on top of the burger. Looks yummy. Yeah. So we're going to eat. Wonderful. <laughs> Mine too. Well, that was delicious and I almost felt like I was in Old Spain. Our next stop, the Vero Beach Museum of Art. Watch this. It's under construction right now. That's only temporary. We're in the sculpture park. Bronze number 56. In consequence, the beautiful setting for art. Well, unfortunately, you're not allowed to take photographs at these particular exhibits. But we'll be coming back in a few weeks when there are exhibits that we can photograph for you. The Museum of Art is really a hidden treasure of Vero Beach. And an added advantage is that it's free. Another of Vero Beach's hidden treasures is McKee Botanical Gardens. So let's go on in. Isn't that an oasis? Beautiful. Along the way are some orchids. Now what you may not know is that McKee Botanical Gardens were originally opened in 1932 as McKee Jungle Gardens and it was filled with wild animals. This is Mr. McKee's outdoor kitchen. Could do with that one. The doors to the Hall of the Giants looks like a medieval church door. The Hall of Giants was a social gathering place and the site of the world's longest one-piece table, Greg. The gardens are known for their water lilies. Beautiful. The Keys Jungle Gardens were popular through the 1930s and into the 1970s, closing permanently in 76. Do you know if there was once a Seminole family that actually lived here on the grounds? This is old Florida again. Greg's tempted to become Tarzan. <laughs> Looks like the coffee plant. The garden's full of palms and bromeliads and orchids and water oaks. Yeah, these palm trees were planted in the early years of McKee Jungle Gardens, so they've been here since the early 1930s. That's pretty.
You could build a tree house up here. Now any Floridian should know that this is a hibiscus. And this is a firecracker plant. Gardeners, you're going to love it here. Look how pretty this palm tree is. And this pretty plant is shell ginger. There's a few blossoms still left. I'm going to be quiet and just let you enjoy the gardens. This is the old man of the jungle. This is the banyan tree, which has been knocked over in what, three hurricanes? Yes, huh? 2004 and 2005. Wow. One down here. It's the watery maze. Yes. We're taking a rest in the bamboo pavilion. All right. Do you know what kind of tree this is? If you said banana, you're right. We're heading back through the Royal Palm Grove. Out again. And there's a gift shop for, of course, shopping afterwards. A bat plant. Oh, green bat plant. Australian honeysuckle. Hiya. And all manner of other things. Whimsical. Gardens were a real treat for us because we like plants. And if you like plants, it'll be a treat for you too. Now let's check out downtown. Cold drink, it's a hot day. Refreshing, right? Mm -hmm. Nothing like a Coke. <laughs> oh, that's true. <laughs> hot day. We're downtown and it's Friday, so we're at Downtown Friday. Let's go see what it's all about. Some nice bikes here. This is a seminal building. Well, it's just getting set up, but it looks like it's going to be fun. Pharaoh has some pretty older buildings. Hey, there's a bounce house for the kids. He's ready to ride the bull. Woo! Keep on for those eight seconds. Nice little business district and a nice something to do for a Friday evening. 